this home is luxurious, it's exciting, it is truly a one of a kind. Instead of talking about it, follow me. I'm Sarah Gore and welcome to Open House NYC. This week we are exploring the best of California living and design. We're getting started in the lap of luxury in beautiful Bel Air because why not, right? <laughs> We're at this epic brand new estate that reveals its many surprises as you progress through the home. It was inspired by art and even by aspects of a Mayan pyramid, which believe it or not is not a first on Open House. We've been doing this a long time. <laughs> it's been dubbed El Canto del Agua or Song of the Water. And its scale is definitely symphonic, cinematic, and stunning. Take a look. Hi, I'm Sally Forster Jones, and I am the founder of the Sally Forster Jones Group, and I welcome you to El Canto del Agua. We're located in Bel Air. It's about 18,500 square feet, and it's on two thirds of an acre with 10 bedrooms and 16 bathrooms. It has everything you want in resort living. Instead of talking about it, follow me. Wow, I mean, have you ever seen anything like this? Every time I walk in here, my mouth drops. We're in the great room, which is the center of the home. It has volume, it has space, but your eyes are drawn to this whole center courtyard, which has this pool that's on multiple levels, and the whole home is surrounding this pool. What is really unique is you look up and you have 30 foot high ceilings. You have twinkling lights. So you experience the home differently, but really exquisitely, both during the day and at night. I'm in the entertainment area and I'm thinking, what do I really want to do right now? Do I want to go and play some cards or some games? Do I want to play a little ping pong? The bar is another special focal point of this home. It has a beautiful live edge. You have the Venetian plaster, you have the color, and then we're overlooking the beautiful wine cellar, which is all encased in glass with sparkling chandelier lights. And the bar is adjacent to the movie theater. And how about this as a concession stand? So if today is not your movie day, perhaps we should go and visit the gym and the spa. So now we're ready for a little bit of action. You're in the gym, but you're also looking out on your pool and it's green and you have that connection to nature. And so if you're into yoga, meditation, this is the spot. Oh, I am so exhausted after that workout. So I may take a sauna or I may take a Roman bath. The stone is beautiful, the tile is beautiful, but there's more. With the push of a button, we're going to have an exquisite Roman tub. And once you've toweled off, we're going to now retreat to the primary suite. The primary suite is more than just a suite. It is 2,700 square feet of your primary living space. In one corner, you have your own private office and you have a seating area if you just want to relax. Then you come to the actual sleeping room, the indoor-outdoor feel with your multiple patios and balconies. And look at this primary suite bathroom. All of this is open up to the outdoor patio area. You have multiple seating areas, and with just a few steps, you have an actual yard. But the culmination of the outdoor space, there's nothing like the pool. This pool is inspired by a Mayan pyramid. First layer is really your actual swimming pool. Next layer is more of your entertainment layer. We have the upper level lounging chairs in the pool or lounging chairs just for your sunbathing. Overall, this home is luxurious, it's exciting, it is truly a one of a kind.
Thank you so much for joining me at this very, very special property. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, and I look forward to seeing you at the next one. Coming up just after the break, we are with this design couple showing off their dream home. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back everyone. Now we're at this Spanish colonial home in Los Angeles with design duo Kevin and Jean Antonio. They show how they designed their home to embody all the ideas and ideals they had of California when they relocated from New York City. It is in every sense their dream home. Take a look. Hi, I'm Jean Antonio Corna. Hi, and I'm Kevin Isbell, and we are Kevin Isbell Interiors, and welcome to our home in the heart of Los Angeles. You're used to seeing all of our work that we do for other people, so now this is a chance to see our home and how we live and how we design for ourselves. It's too hot out here, come on. Welcome, it's a 1920s Spanish colonial house. It was so important to us when we relocated from New York that we found the vernacular that really spoke to us and that really said California. So as you look around the room, you're gonna notice a lot of things that are a little bit unique to this space. I decided to open the shutters, which hadn't been open in over you know, 50 years or whatever, to let the light in. Because of that, I want to break up some of the expanse of all of the wood on the shutters. So we hung the painting here. You also notice next to it, you have the curtains that are hung at sort of a certain level. It gives us the privacy, but you can still see sky, the palm trees, all those things about California that we love. I hung a mirror opposite the wall, so when you walk in, it reflects that view, so it kind of doubles the light in here. Now I'm gonna kick it over to Gian Antonio. He's Italian, so he's gonna take you through the kitchen and the dining room naturally. What I really like about this house is the fact that we have this beautiful dining room space. Kevin created this corner, this octagonal table is a vintage table in the corner, so there's like a space for us to move. We have this beautiful gallery wall, so we are like surrounded by art, and so we can enjoy our meals even more. The kitchen is uh, uh, full of light, uh, there's a lot of space. Uh, Kevin created like an indoor garden where you, you can see this beautiful chair that has been reupholstered with this floral fabric. In the center there's this whimsical light that makes like, the room uh, even more joyful. And if you enjoy the beautiful pattern and interior here, wait to see our bedroom. This is our bedroom here. We love this space because it's a little jewel box. In the morning, the morning light just streams in here, which is why we put no curtains on the wall. I love how I brought the outdoor in with the bedding, with the flowers, all about nature here. So we have this beautiful low slung sort of teal tufted headboard. It's a little more traditional. And then I flanked it with two mid-century modern wood side pieces here. So the mid-century blue lamp here, I found on the East Coast in New York. It actually came out of the National Arts Club on Gramercy Park. And I just love a big vessel lamp, who doesn't? So thank you so much for coming to tour our home. Uh, it's a first for us to show our home versus a, a client's home that we have done. I hope you really enjoy our beautiful home and uh, thank you very much. When we come back, luxury living and hip hop inspiration at this Calabasas compound. Whether you like to lay out in the sun and enjoy the pool or hang out with your friends underneath the cabana, this property offers it all. We'll be right back. Welcome back everyone. Now we're with Mary Fitzgerald, one of the stars of Selling Sunset. She shows us around this private Calabasas compound once owned by hip hop star French Montana. It mixes classic luxury with a playful spirit throughout its impressive interiors. We join Mary for a closer look. Hi, 
my name is Mary Fitzgerald. You probably have seen me on the hit Netflix series, Selling Sunset. But today I'm hanging out with you guys to show you this amazing property. It's 8,600 square feet, six bedrooms. It has a pool and just beautiful throughout. Coincidentally, this home is currently owned by French Montana, who is a huge music star and previously owned by Selena Gomez, who's also a pop star. So lots of history here, so much to see inside. Let's go take a look around. So the first thing you notice when you walk in the door is this amazing dining room. It has a beautiful fireplace, just dramatic chandelier. It also has 20 foot ceilings where you can enjoy a small intimate dinner party, but if your guests you know, start growing, they can spill out into this beautiful courtyard where you can make your dinner party a lot bigger. So this used to be the formal dining room, but in typical musician style, he needed a entertainment space. So this is now this very cool pool table lounge area, huge windows with curtains, 20 foot ceilings, and a terrace above where someone can be playing piano and add to the ambiance. So this entertainment space has pretty much everything you could want in terms of space, except for food. So the kitchen's right next door. Let's go take a look at that. So this kitchen is a chef's kitchen, offering an oversized fridge, double appliances throughout, and an incredible open floor plan. So what's so cool about this open floor plan is you can still use the kitchen and also communicate to everybody in the living room, watching football, hanging out, and the party never has to stop. The outdoor area in this backyard is an entertainer's dream really your own private oasis. You've got your barbecue, wood burning pizza oven, and total privacy. So whether you like to lay out in the sun and enjoy the pool or hang out with your friends underneath the cabana, this property offers it all. My personal favorite is the home theater upstairs. It has a total Beverly Hills Hotel vibe. And you probably saw it on Keeping Up With The Kardashians because Scott Disick helped French Montana decorate this room on the show. And bonus, this home theater is sound dampened just like every home theater should be. And speaking of soundproofing and dampening, let's go take a look at the guest house where the music studio is located. So for those of you that know who French Montana is, this is where all of his top hits were made. Very cool history here with Selena Gomez and French Montana. But for those of you that don't require a music studio, it can be converted back into a two-car garage. Okay guys, so that concludes the tour. You can see yourselves out. I'm gonna stick around here, try to make some music. So if my real estate career doesn't work out, you'll find me in here making some beats. Coming up in just a few short minutes, we are in Carmel for a peek at the former hideaway of Kim Novak. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now we're in Carmel, California to tour the dramatic former hideaway of Kim Novak, icon of Hitchcock's classic Vertigo. This breathtaking cliffside home truly gives you a front row seat to the Pacific Ocean and boy, that view is incredible. Take a look for yourself. Welcome, my name's Jonathan Spencer with Compass. Welcome to 170 Spindrift Lane in the Carmel Highlands, the most beautiful meeting of land and sea in the world. This property is set on two oceanfront acres on the most scenic coastline in the entire world. The property itself has two structures, one main house. It has complete coastal oceanfront views from every window. The guest house built in 1967 by the world famous Kim Novak and has beautiful oceanfront views as well as seagulls flying along this beautiful coastline.
Before we go inside, I wanted to take a minute and talk about these beautiful golden granite stone exterior. You can see how it's meticulously stacked. They wanted the old world feel when designing this structure back in 1957, and that's exactly what you have here. And if you think it's beautiful out here, wait till I show you inside. One of the interesting elements about this property is it was formerly owned by Hollywood actress Kim Novak. Certain elements that are still here when she commissioned them back in the 1950s and 60s are these stained glass windows, as well as a lot of the light fixtures you'll see. They were done by her or commissioned by her and remain in the property today. From the redwood ceilings to the green granite on both the fireplace and the wall behind me, it really speaks to the inner artist in all of us. And you'll notice the view of Point Lobos to your north. Thousands of people view it every day, but you have the opportunity to look at it out your window. So the overall feeling in this room, it's got that bohemian artist style. The open floor plan also includes an amazing kitchen that was remodeled in the 2000s. You enjoy beautiful granite countertops, high-end appliances. And when you're done entertaining your guests, you can retire down to your primary suite. Let me take you down there. The lower level of the house consists of one primary suite with an attached bathroom. And if you want more room, you have a guest house. It's one bedroom and also has beautiful ocean views. The primary suite really shows you how close you are to the rugged coastline of Carmel. Out this window here, you can see you're built directly into the granite shelf. And with all these natural elements around, the biggest payoff is this ocean view. Thank you so much for coming on this tour with me today. This is truly the most iconic property on the Carmel Coast, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Coming up just after the break, this glam surf shack in Manhattan Beach. Talk about summer vibes. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone. We are finishing things off in Manhattan Beach at the home of designer Lynn Stone. She completely reimagined her Victorian style beach home, embracing the original details while modernizing it with an open flow and so much more. Better for you to just see it for yourself. Hi, I'm Lynn Stone, co-founder of Hunter Carson Design. Welcome to my home in Manhattan Beach. I share this place with my husband, my four kids, one dog, and a whole lot of surfboards. I can't wait to show you what's inside. Come on, let's check it out. When you get to the top of the stairs, the very first thing you notice is the bay windows. This is the view that sold me on buying the house. Who would have a white couch with four kids and a dog who refuses to believe that this is the family couch and thinks it's her dog bed? The trick is to cover your furniture in indoor-outdoor material, and if you can, get something that has a little bit of a texture to it. Just because it's outdoor doesn't mean that it's not soft and it's not comfortable. The Beach Chic is all about the materials that you use and also the neutral colors. So when I was designing this fireplace, that's exactly what I had in mind. The mantle, I used reclaimed wood to kind of give it more of an earthy vibe to it. Since natural elements are such a big part of this house, let me take you to the dining room. Once in the dining room, you'll notice the natural wood table. We got an extra long table, so we would always have room for friends and family. And this table is fantastic because it can take a beating. And if you look up, you will see one of my favorite pieces in the house. It almost looks like a sea creature. To me, that makes it look beach chic and a little edgy. The kitchen to me is really the heart of the home. It's where my family starts their day and also ends their day. So it's really important to me that it's a clean, welcoming space. The chandelier is the first thing that my husband and I bought once we actually owned a home. The chandelier isn't the only thing that shimmers, the backsplash does too. I used an Italian tile, both matte and shiny, and interspersed the tile so this 
just glitters a little bit. My favorite thing in the kitchen is the succulent wall, and it is so much nicer looking at those flowers than the back of your neighbor's house. Welcome to the cloud. I love the color white, as you can clearly see. It's very calming to me. If I'm laying on the bed, I'm sitting in the reading nook, I can see the ocean, I can hear the waves. It's hard not to feel relaxed. With all those waves, you've got to have a surfboard nearby. Let me show you my all-time favorite surfboard. Everyone in our house surfs, but this surfboard, it is incredible. Not only can you custom design it, I love the yellow, but it's the only surfboard that keeps the sand out of my house. Thanks for joining me for the tour. This was so much fun. I really love living here and I love designing this space for my family. I'll see you at the next property. Give this video a thumbs up and let us know which of these gorgeous homes featured in this episode was your favorite. So many to choose from, which will you pick? <laughs>